Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the third video in the playlist. We're looking at hard questions for this year's GCSE. And what I've done is I've looked at the predicted types of questions that you're going to get for this year and um, put together some questions that might be useful. You can download this particular worksheet through from 3 Minute Maths. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of these questions, then compare your solutions. In the previous video, we completed through to question number two. So in this video, we're going to look at question number three. OK, so here we are on question number three. It says the nth term of a sequence is that. Two consecutive, the most important thing is consecutive terms in the sequence of a difference of 13. Work out the two terms. OK, um, it's one of those questions where really we've just got to be um, perhaps a little bit tedious with it. Now, I'm going to do it in its entirety. You might choose to sort of leap ahead a little bit. But if I start with, say, the first term, then what I'm actually going to get when I substitute it into n squared plus 2n plus 1 is going to be 1 squared plus 2 times 1 plus 1 and that's going to equal 4. And then I've got the second term. Now, as I say, you might just decide to move ahead a little bit with these. It's only for the purposes of this video um, that I'm going to be writing all of these out. OK, the third term. Now, you can see at the moment the difference between the first and the second is actually only 5. I need a difference of 13. So I've got to kind of just work my way through each of these. But as we get further up with the different terms, then hopefully we'll get to a point where the numbers will become a lot closer to 13. So the third term is going to be 16. The fourth term, well, that's going to be 4 squared plus 2 times 4 plus 1. And when I work all of that out, I get 25. The fifth term, OK, is going to be 5 squared plus 2 times 5 plus 1, and that's going to equal uh, 36. OK, now the difference between the fourth and the fifth is 11. So I'm hopeful that the sixth term, which I'm going to write now, is going to be a difference of 13 between the fifth and the sixth. And I've got that plus 1, that equals 49, which, guess what? is a difference of 13. OK, so therefore the two terms are going to be the fifth and sixth terms. And that would be the answer to question number three. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.